am coming up to an exit and um, I'm going to test my current uh, autopilot version which is 7.1. Uh, we're expecting 8 soon so uh, this is sort of a baseline of what um, autopilot does for a uh, exit which is coming up there. So my blinker on pretty soon. Now there are cars in front of me so it, that's a little bit like cheating because it'll detect those cars and slow down. Um, rather abrupt. Whoop. It grazed that number a little bit. This is a pretty sharp turn too so da -da 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 -da. it's a little sharp for it, a little sharp for it, but it's doing okay. So in that case, um, I had my blinker on, but the lane that I was in was actually an exit lane. So it doesn't exactly count as like taking the exit uh, because the lines gave autopilot no choice. Um, but what it did show is that once it was in those lines, it was able to slow, uh, slow down enough to um, negotiate both of those turns. It was basically an S-curve. S able to negotiate both of those successfully. So that's kind of the baseline. The difference that we're expecting with the next one is that if the, say the lane that I was in actually continued on the freeway, but I was intending on taking the uh, exit, um, I, all I would have to do is put my blinker on and the car would actually know to take the exit um, and regulate itself in all manners needed in order to um, take the exit and slow down and negotiate any curves. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, we'll see what the differences bring. Hopefully soon. Oh, hey, there's a red Tesla. Oh no, it's not. It's just a. Uh, what is that? A red? Maybe a Nissan with a black front on it. Anyway, see you in the next video.